Hmm. What's wrong with this screen capture video? It's so small. I was born that way. Cut, cut. It's so small. That's what she said. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to read the text. <laughs> it is. Hard to read indeed, but what you just saw is an example of something called an outtake. An outtake is a portion of work, usually a film or music recording, that is removed in the editing process and not included in the work's final publicly released version. Most folks know it as a blooper. The sample you just saw is from the Video Genesis product launch videos by Mike Vilsame and Andy Jenkins. See how to have some fun with these as I continue ripping off the boss. Kind of a hobby of mine. The scene from Andy and Mike may have looked like bloopers, but was actually fully scripted and very much on purpose. It's a great example of what's called a pattern interrupt. Whenever you see something that throws you for a loop and leaves you scratching your head, huh? you've just had your pattern interrupted. The normal pattern is your brain watching and beginning to think to itself, yeah, I got this, I know what's going on. Well, to deliver a more effective message, we yank the rug out from under the viewer every once in a while to re-engage the know-it-all brain and get it back on track with our message. I'm in Camtasia Studio, and let's take a look at the moving parts that pull this kind of thing off. There are two main elements and also some optional stuff we can do. In its basic form, it's really just a blank white image and a sound effect clip. And it's short, only three-tenths of a second long. We can use this in a Camtasia project in a couple of ways. First, you can create deliberate scenes that are designed to be a gag and provide that pattern interrupt, like Mike and Andy That's what did. She said. Oh, come on, guys. Use their <laughs> sample as a guide, and don't forget you don't have to use camera video only. This can be done using Camtasia screen captures or PowerPoint video content, like this. I'm looking for some fast food version here training for Camtasia. For Camtasia. Your way, or can I just whip it out there for you? Hey man, I, 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 I want it fast and dirty. Yeah. I am moderately experienced with video editing. Notice in that clip that I also included one of our first optional elements. I call it control room chatter. I want it fast and dirty. Yeah. yeah, that's just a recording of me with some sound effects added to it. I put a few of these together for you to use in your projects. Another variation on the effect is to use an image in place of the simple white background during the beep, like this. Yeah. I am. This is just an image I created in PowerPoint and saved out to PNG. And I have a bunch of these to give you also, and you can add them to your library. I'll show you how in a second. To use any of the outtake clips, either split your video clip where you want to insert the effect, I want it fast and dirty. Press the shift key and hold it. Click and drag to the right to make a hole. Choose your outtake from the library. Drag it to the timeline. Scooch this part back if necessary. And there you go. Fast and dirty. I, I... Or, if you've recorded multiple scenes individually for your project, put your first scene on the timeline, drop an outtake in after that, and then drop in your next clip after the outtake. If you want to add the control room sound effects after that, here's a couple of quick notes. You'll probably want to zoom in on the timeline because the clips are so short and you'll need this zoomed in view to line things up perfectly. You might also want to add a special effects track. I usually insert one below my video narration and music tracks. Place it just before the outtake clip.
Okay, so to get my super sweet outtake toolkit to add to your Camtasia library, just click the link below. Choose save and then run the libzip file or just run it if your browser allows you to do that. This will automatically launch Camtasia if it isn't already running and we'll put it in a folder of your library called Outtake Toolkit. Cool? This is Lon Naylor and thanks for watching. And hey, if you like these kinds of free tutorials and resources, be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you're feeling a little love, please comment, thumbs up and share. Please? Please? Cut, cut. Oh, please? Oh, come on. That would be great. I'd love to hear from you.